Hey guys, I'm Janine's Brower, and today is the 14th. This is a video to all of the AFS kids and Rotary kids that have been helping me out with this project of mine or this idea of mine. Um, this is going to be like an explanation video because I've been getting tons of emails and Facebook messages and everything like this. So this is to answer all of those questions that I've been getting the same question over and over again. So first off, um, I want to say that to all of those saying, you know, we don't truly agree with uh, Invisible Children, all that kind of stuff, I 100% understand and agree with you guys. I've read all the uh, little articles too, and I, my opinion of specifically Invisible Children has been kind of wavered a bit. I still like them for their idea and for what has really inspired me to make this idea. But um, I have now got to, gotten to the point, and this is to answer like the 10 emails I got asking me, you know, if I've read all the articles and to get my facts right, so on and so forth. Um, I'm doing this video because of all the people that have seen my idea video on YouTube. I didn't explain in the details or in the description uh, my full idea, I guess. And we're not, and everyone who has seen my videos on YouTube, we're not exact. I don't think we're all friends on Facebook yet. I'm sure at some point we will be, maybe, but we'll see. Anyways, so for all of you, like I said, who don't exactly agree with Invisible Children, I want to explain this. Um, so I read the articles the same day that I watched the original Invisible Children video that got me so inspired. And so what I started doing, I put it on Facebook instantly so that people would know. But like I said, I'm not friends with everybody who have seen my videos on YouTube. So this is why I'm explaining this now. So I put on Facebook that basically in the videos you guys send, um, you can absolutely say if you're not 100% with Invisible Children, I mean, I'm not saying you have to be. And by the way, I'm not telling anybody by sending in their videos to me for, we, for us to do this what I think is going to be an awesome project. I'm not telling you you have to donate any money to anybody. The entire point of this video and this video project we are all working on together is to get Joseph Coney's name out there. That's the point. I'm not telling anyone to go, you know, pay a few dollars a month or do anything like that. I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to show the world that we as exchange students, and I've changed it from Road exchange students to exchange students. And for all the people that are watching this now and are thinking, well, crap, I've already seen my video and we said road exchange students. That's totally fine. That's what I'm saying, exchange students. So now anyone who's seen videos from AFS kids, that's totally cool. They can absolutely say AFS kids, so on and so forth. And so here's the thing to finally answer all those questions, all those email with the same question saying, have you read this facts? Have you gotten everything you know solidified down? So, I told everybody they can say two. Th they can say one of two things: either we support Coney two thousand twelve. That is for those of you who are cool with Invisible Children and you want to say we support them, and that's cool if you decide to. My other idea was this: just simply drop the two thousand twelve part, aka taking off half the name of the Invisible Children's like or, or Invisible Children's project. And just say, we support stopping Coney in 2012, or we support stopping Joseph Coney in the year 2012. That way, you're not associated whatsoever with um, Invisible Children's organization. And that way, it's just to help get the word out that w we care. And the point of this is to the people asking, you know, why even bother making a video like this if we're just trying to get the word out there? Well, here's the thing. You know, I, for one, let me go ahead and admit this straight out front. I have always been one of those people that have sat there when I've seen something like natural disasters or anything like this Joseph Coney story out there on the television and stuff. Most of the time, I've thought, you know what? I'm too young to do anything about it, so I'm just going to, you know, say, oh, that's too bad, and I wish I could help, but I don't know how, so I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. And unfortunately... I think that's what a lot of us Americans and just people, and especially us as kids, teenagers, young adults, that's unfortunately probably what we've done a lot of the time, is we've just sat there and done nothing, 
And you know what? This road exchange, this exchange experience, excuse me, this exchange experience, AFC or Rotary is a point or is a time for us to find out who we really are as people. And I just thought, you know what? Let's just try something. And so that's when my little idea started out, which has now turned into a much bigger thing than just this little idea. I've gotten tons of y'all's videos and your help. And uh, I'm going to explain further a new part of my idea, which was actually given me by one of the people who watched my videos and actually sent me a video. And it was a really kind of genius idea. And so the point is, is that to show that not only America, because that's what uh, Invisible Children is kind of going for, is Americans got to show the American government that we care. Well, I'm going for the exchangers, you know, that means the entire freaking world. And so to all of you all saying, you know what, people are doing enough, getting the point out, and people know his name enough, and all this kind of stuff, I'm thinking, you know what, that's great. But I'm trying to do this to show that the youth, or, you know, because we are the youth, that we care. And as Rotary Youth Exchangers, as AFS Exchangers, as kids from all over the world, do you know how much of a difference we can make? We're like, you know how people say we're the next generation? Why not start now? I'm stepping up during my Rotary Exchange year because I feel like this has already changed me so much into the, the, the sounds cheesy, into the young man I'm becoming. But you know what? It's just like, why not go ahead and throw on another big step to my life while I'm, you know, my exchange year? And if that means trying to put a video out there with tons of help from you guys saying, you know what, we care about this. We want to help in any way possible, whether it's through invisible children or on our own basis. You know what, then why not? So to all of you guys sending me an email saying, read your facts and, um, and what's the point of making this video? That is the point, to let people know that we care. Yeah, sure, maybe enough people already know the name Joseph Coney and now... Maybe the American government knows that we care enough or that Americans care enough to do this. Why not show the world that we care enough? Just think about this. If the world works together on one pro project, I'm talking not only just big countries like the U.S., China, et cetera, et cetera, Europe, whatever. What if we just all work together? You know what? If we all work together to stop Joseph Coney, the entire world, do you, know, do you realize how fast we would have this man stopped? And then you realize how much of a domino effect that could have. We showing that the world, the youth of the world care just by showing us exchangers that we care. That can make such a domino effect. Like, that could mean that Joseph Coney, as you guys saw, as I'm sure you guys saw in the Invisible Children video, just sure enough, you know, he's the first, like, top criminal on that list of just the American government. That could just do a domino effect. If we could just send little parts of help from all over the world to stop one guy and then just move on to the next and the next. You know what? Who knows? We don't know what we don't know what the future holds. I'm sure there's always gonna be some small little mishaps or wars going on. But just imagine how much more peaceful and how much more like working. And excuse my English if I'm talking kinda weird, because I don't speak English often in Czech Republic. I usually just speak only Czech, so I apologize for that. I haven't had practice. Um but we can just make such a difference in the world by just showing that we care. And that's the point, is to try to change the world for the better as exchange students, AFS or Rotary. We are making a difference, and that's what I care about, and I'm extremely sure that is what you all care about. And so back to the donation thing, if you guys want to donate to some organization and try to help stop Coney, you can do that. That's your own choice. That's to stop all the emails saying, why are you trying to just basically get support for the individual children? I'm not. I'm just trying to get the idea, or I'm just trying to get the name of Dr. Coney out there like everybody else, and to show that we, as the youth of the world, care. So that's the answer to those emails. Or lastly, uh, I got an email from somebody, and this was actually a very helpful email, because I've gotten so many videos, like I said, I think it's 170 something. I haven't counted all of them. I haven't downloaded half of them yet, just because there's so many. That if I were to make one big video with everybody's in there, yeah, that'd be awesome. But that's going to be a crazy long video. So here's an idea from someone that was really a good idea, like a genius idea, because I have so many videos. But I have, so far, a pretty even number from, like, tons of different co countries around the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make specific videos for each uh, country. And I'm going to say exchanges from 
for example, Germany support arresting Coney, Joseph Coney in 2012. And in that video, I'll make a short introduction, probably no longer than a minute, probably hopefully less, because as you guys can tell, I'm not super f I'm not super awesome on a video camera, but I'm just kind of blabbering now. Uh, I'm going to say something like, I had this idea a few weeks ago, and I got a huge response. And these are just the videos from the exchangers from Germany. And so I'm going to put all the videos from Germany I've received, or all the videos from people from Germany, whether they're in a different country or not right now, into that one video. And that's how it's going to be with every single video. And... Uh, to t say to everybody who's going to see this, you guys can still send me your videos if you haven't yet until this Saturday is going to be the last day and the final deadline that I'm going to have to give. One, I'm asking for more videos because now that I have this idea of making many videos for each country, if we have more than that way, the videos can still be long, but like maybe not more than 30 minutes. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to be. Because... And the reason I say the uh, Saturday is the last day is because, as an exchange, I'm sure you guys know, we have busy schedules. And so I don't have any t free time until Sunday. And I think all of Sunday I'm just going to leave blank so I can start busting out these videos and get them set and s put on the YouTube so we can get the message out there as soon as possible. So keep sending me your videos. I hope this answers all questions that have been asked or y'all wanted to ask. Um, once again... You can say either we exchangers or we or we kids or we young adults who have gone on exchange, whatever you want to say. We either support Coney 2012 if you want to dire directly say that you support the idea or the movement of individual children. Or for those of you that have been sending me emails saying get your facts right, so on and so forth, you can just simply say we exchangers support the arrest and capture of Coney in the year 2012, giving you no attachment to the Invisible Children organization. And don't worry, guys, I will only be saying on the title of the videos and in the descriptions that we are trying to get the name out there. I won't say specifically we're helping Invisible Children or anything like that, so we won't be specific, we won't be specified to one certain thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this explained all of your questions. If not, I apologize. But well, Sunday, I'm going to start making videos. So, guys, keep sending your videos until Saturday. I'm saying Saturday night by the time y'all go to bed, which is whatever time it is because I know you guys live all over the world. And, again, I just want to personally say thank you because last week when I put this vi the first video up explaining my idea, this was a small little idea. I didn't know how big it was going to get. And one of my friends told me, I promise you this is going to be huge. And you know what? It's turned out to be this way. I've gotten suddenly tons of not, uh, friend requests on Facebook, and I've gotten tons of videos, and you know, that just shows how much people care about, or how much people can care, or how much people want to be part of something to help something else, and isn't that what ex exchange is being about, I know, especially for Rotary, it's service above self, and I'm sure AFS is very much like that, and what are we doing right now, we are doing, or at least attempting service above self, by getting this guy's name out there and we're trying to help thou as far as we know thousands of kids that have been taken from their homes and forced to do things which i'm highly sure they do not want to do with their own will so again thank you guys for all your help you are all wonderful every single one of you and i will talk to you all um i don't know on facebook or on youtube messages or something like that and have an awesome day or night depending on your time zone right now and i will talk to you guys very soon Get ready for the videos on Sunday, and let's do this thing, guys. But this is going to be so worth it and so cool. So thank you guys for everything. My name is Jennings Brower, 19 years old, living in the Czech Republic. I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a good night, guys.